my name's Han Dang, and I'm doing a reflection on the movie Me, Myself that we watched in class as an extra credit opportunity. I'm going to focus on different points that I noticed in the movie, such as Bangkok's working environment, the family dynamics, and the LGBTQ community. As we saw in the movie, Om is a single mother-like figure for her nephew. Her, her nephew's parents died, and everyone else in the family tried to take care of her nephew, but it didn't work because in the end, they she abandoned her nephew. That's why she decided to take him in. Even though she is a single guardian for her nephew, she was not struggling financially because she had a white-collar job. Hello, my name is Han Ding, and I'll be doing a reflection on the movie Me, Myself that we watched in class as an op extra credit opportunity. I'm going to focus on two main points that I noticed in the movie, um, Bangkok's working environment and the LGBT community. So as we saw in the movie, Om is a single mother-like figure for her nephew. Even though she is a single guardian for her nephew, she was not struggling financially because she had a pretty securing job. She was able to secure a job because of Bangkok's working environment and how different it was to Thailand's other cities. So around the late 1980s, America was pretty involved in Thailand's industrial development. So this is why Thailand was following America's plan to become like more successful with its main focus in Bangkok. In 1989, the other countries surrounding Thailand like Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam, and Myanmar um, were too busy with their own country's affairs because a lot of them had civil wars during this time. But yeah, so because like in 1989, there was a lot going on during Southeast Asia's history. Because of everything that these countries were going through, um, the con these countries were not focusing much economically because they were busy with their own affairs. Um, the th which is why in 1989, Thai GDP was raised by two digits compared to all the other Southeast Asian countries because they were just busy doing their own thing. Um, seeing this rapid growth, the Thai people were very happy about the direction that their country was going. Um, they were realizing that their dreams of becoming a better country economically was actually becoming a reality because before they saw no improvements, but this is the first time they actually saw this much improvement in such a short amount of time. As industrialization in Bangkok started to rise, the people were starting to see the differences of how Bangkok is becoming and how the rest of Thailand is. People were more accepting of white collar workers in Bangkok than in other cities. The people were also more open-minded to more westernized dreams in Bangkok than the other cities too. When I saw how successful Bangkok was doing compared to other cities, they tried to create more cities like to be like Bangkok, but as we can see today, the most modernized city in Thailand is Bangkok. So this means that their plans weren't as successful for the other cities. Because of Bangkok's more westernized ways, Om was able to live the way she was living without much backlash. As long as the people saw that she was able to take care of her nephew, fine. They didn't really talk bad about her. The only bad thing was that her and her boyfriend broke up because of her nephew, but even after the breakup, she was still determined to raise him as if she would, he was her own. Even though we saw how Ohm was able to raise her nephew perfectly fine before she met Tan, as Tan became more involved in their family affairs, he became a father figure that her nephew had always wanted and needed in his life. This showed when Tan was next to her nephew crying on the stairs and being there for him after a big argument that happened between Om and her nephew. This showed that even though the Thai people were accepting of single parenting, they kind of would still prefer their children to be living in a two-parent home because they believe that that is what is best for their child or to just children in general. Even though Om is the mother figure in the family, she 
acted more as a father figure since she was the one that was working while Tan acted more like a mother as he was the one that did all the cleaning and housework. Like he cooked for everyone in the family. He was the one um, organizing the whole mess that was in the living room that was in the beginning of the movie. He was also seen wearing an apron like a housewife. This showed that the Thai people were accepting of families not following the typical gender roles like the mother staying at home and taking care of the house and a father looking and finding money for the family. Om and Tan acted the opposite of their typical gender roles and there was no one looking down on them for that or judging them. Another key point that I'm going to to touch on is the LGBTQ community. As we can see that the LGBTQ community was is pretty much accepted in Thai culture, but this does not mean that it doesn't come with many struggles. One is that we can see that the LGBTQs were only able to get jobs in the art or entertainment industry. We could also see that they were not really accepting um, the, of the LGBT community in a working environment during the time set of the movie, they were, they were still looked down upon in the professional setting. This is why it caused many LGBTQs to do jobs that um, they had, that they were only offered in order to survive. We can also see that the people were looking down on Om's relationship with Tan after they found out that Tan was a drag queen and that he was in love with a guy before. This kind of made the audience realize that the Thai people during the time were not accepting of bi people being in relationships with straight people, which is why um, Om's ex-boyfriend threatened to call Om um, a queer's wife if her and Tan ever got married and the way that he was saying it, it had a negative connotation. Also in the movie, they hinted that Tan was pressured to become the way he thinks sexually because of the way he was raised and where he was raised. Tan's guardian or the person that was raised, that raised Tan since he was little told Tan that he kind of wished he was able to give Tan more of a choice to think about his sexuality instead of making him follow everyone else in the drag show community. It makes us think if the Thais actually agree that being part of the LGBT community can be learned or if this is just the director's point of view and we should not think of it as Thailand's, pers everyone in Thailand's perspective. But if they do think that is true, it also makes us, makes us think that the Thais want to find some kind of reason as to why the LGBT community act and think the way they do. At the end of the movie, we could see that Om accepted Tan who he is as a person. All she cared about was if he still loved her and that was the, all that mattered to her. Tan was still kind of scared of Om having backlash, which is why he kind of tried to push her away. But seeing, but but seeing and hearing the questions that Om asked him, and how much she loved him, Tan started to accept her again because he always loved her. This makes us see that the Thais believe that true love has many obstacles, but as long as you can accept one another, everything will be okay, and that is all that matters. Looking at back at the movie, I never knew how much background information was involved in making the movie the way it is, such as the making of Bangkok really seemed the more industrialized city compared to the rural area where Tan is from, or the details needed to make the family dynamics the way they were um, when they were all living together in the apartment, or see or making us see how much it is as a struggle for seeing how much of a struggle it is for a person in the LGBT community to survive in Thailand. Everything in the movie is the way it is because of the little details they put in to make it seem more believable. 
Reflecting on the movie opened my eyes on the Thai community and the perspective on things. And I'm glad we were able to see this movie in class. Um, thank you for listening to my reflection. Please like this video. If, please like this video when I post it. And thank you for the professor for allowing me to um, gain extra credit by making this reflection. Thank you.